for anyone who has ever had to look after their parents, you know it can come with many challenges, but it also comes with beautiful, mm -hmm. beautiful joys. And sometimes we could all use a little help finding them. For Michael Trojan, that nudge came from his daughter. And our friend Joelle Gargiulo has their good news story. I know you love this yeah, one. I, I love it, and I, sh I, I come with good <laughs> news. So Michael got a second chance at happiness and love, and it was all thanks in part to his daughter, Michelle. And here's their story. I was sitting at a table next to you. Right. When your girlfriend introduced With my me. aunt. And I belong to a different senior club. And after I met him, I said, I have to join his senior club. <laughs> and I did. And I remember he said, thank you for dancing with me on Friday night. And I said, well, thank you for dancing with me. A dance that would change the lives of newlyweds Joanne and Michael Trojan. Did you ever think that you would find love at 70? Mm -mm. Never. No, never. And you found it? Yes. How has it been? <sighs> Wonderful. And no one is happier for the New York-based couple than Michael's daughter, Michelle Devine, who supported him through a very difficult time. 19 years ago, my mom got double pneumonia. My mom also had muscular dystrophy, but she was a strong woman. But in the summer of 2004, Michelle's mom Angie's health took a turn, and that fall she passed away at age 57. It was extremely painful to lose her. Over the next nine years, Michelle and Michael's grief was compounded by the untimely death of her brothers, Scott to pancreatic cancer, and just eight months later, Todd of a massive heart attack. Grieving the loss of two of his children, Michael moved in with Michelle and her husband. What was he like throughout all of that? He lost his wife, he lost his two sons. I have to say he was very miserable. He was very sad, he was very angry. My father doesn't say how hurt he is or sits and cries. That's not who my father is. But when he lost his sons, he cried. Finally, I said, that's it, Dad. You've sat long enough. You need to go meet friends. Go meet people. Go to the senior club. Michael agreed, and it did him a world of good. He asked this lady to dance with him, and her name was Joanne. After a dance and some early maneuvers to get one another's attention, the two were inseparable. Remember, I know that I found your keys in the bed. Oh, yes. So I brought them out and I gave them to the president. And she announced, that somebody leave their keys in the wash house. Yeah. And, and then I made a big fuss. Yeah. I didn't have to make a big fuss, but I did. She really was like an angel. She made my father light up again and be happy. After dating and dancing for four years, Michael asked Joanne to marry him. He was like, Michelle, I want to go get a ring. He wanted to get engaged and get married again. It was Joanne's birthday, and my dad was nervous, of course. And he goes, I don't know if I can really get down on my knee, but I'm going to try my best. <laughs> did you get down on the knee? No. I did. Like kind of he got it. down on the chair. This August, Michael and Joanne walked down the aisle and started a new chapter together. I think it's very easy to harden in right. life, you know, after whether it's tragedy. Uh -huh. or whether it's not having somebody in your life for decades, right, when right. everybody around you does. Right. But you both didn't do that. Right. How did you get to where you are now? Don't give up. <laughs> because uh, it was very, very unexpected. Uh, to, to even now, it's like almost a dream come true. Well, it is a dream come true. So now I met, you know, my Michael. My Michael. I love everything about you. We are so thrilled because we have Michelle, Michael, and Joanne. They are joining us now from Michelle's home in New York. Hi, you, you all. Guys. Hi, guys. Okay, first of all, my Michael is, like, killing me. But I want to start with Michelle. Michelle, just tell us what it's like to see your dad this happy. I am so happy that my dad is finally happy. Um, it makes my heart happy. You know, um, to see him come from where we've come from, both of us, his sons, my brothers, was so hard. But um, 
my my only single prayer every day was that my dad would be happy once again. Well, that, and he finally went. Mm -hmm. That is so beautiful, Michelle. We can see how happy mm -hmm. you are. <laughs> and uh, both of you, Michael and Joanne, the newlyweds, can we just say congratulations? Mm -hmm. Joanne, as Hoda Thanks. said, my Michael has a beautiful mm -hmm. ring to it. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Okay. You guys, we love you so much that we wanted to do something for you. Oh, yes, we did. Are you guys ready for this? Michael, I can't hear you. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, so Beachbound is sending you on a honeymoon to Bermuda, and you are going to enjoy a six-day, five-night stay for two at the Hamilton Princess wow. and Beach Club. And there you will experience the beaches, their infinity pool, and relaxing spa treatments. Round-trip airfare is included, and you have one year to take the trip. And Michelle, while they are on their trip, you and your husband can enjoy a night out in the city. First, it's dinner, courtesy of the Tommy, uh, Tommy Bahama restaurant. That's one of my favorites and bar. And then it is off to see the smash hit Broadway revival of Funny Girl at the August Wilson Theater, because I know you love your Broadway. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you. That's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh. That's so exciting. Well, we love you guys. And Michael and Joanne, please send us photos from your honeymoon, okay? All right, All right. guys. Thank you, thank you thank so you. much. And we'll be back right after this. Oh, my God.